Hello and welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson, and you probably already know it, but my tank is crashing. Yeah, it sucks. It's actually crashing pretty hard. Now, the tangs are doing great, but remember when I put those tangs in the tank? I was really worried that with all of those tangs going in, that I was gonna spike my nitrates, have algae issues. So to combat that, I added a whole bunch of bio pellets to my tank, about a liter. Turns out, you can have too many bio pellets on a system. As far as I knew, common wisdom was, you couldn't have too many bio pellets on the system. And one of you subscribers mentioned this early on. I looked for your comment, I couldn't find it or I'd mention your name, but I didn't want to believe it. Can't have too many bio pellets on a system. And even if you did, I'd see it in my softies first. Because everybody knows Xenia dies in a low nutrient environment. Mine's not dying, it can't be the bio pellets. But when I think about it, it makes perfect sense. Because there's only been two big changes to the tank. Tang's going in, and lots of bio pellets going in. So if you remember about November of last year, December of last year, somewhere around there, I had another big tank crash. The exact same thing happened. Well, I blamed it on my lights because the same time I put a bunch of T5 lights on my tank and I blamed it on my lights. But if you go back, a little before I put those T5 lights on, I put a whole bunch more bio pellets on the tank. What I think I'm doing is I'm stripping all of the nutrients out of the tank, killing my corals. So let's take a look at how my corals look. This bird's nest is dead. There's no saving it. Both of my poras are retracted and the top one is bleaching pretty bad. But those are little frags. I'm not so worried about them. It's the Monty's. The Monty's are fading in color quickly and the tissue's dying off and this brown algae stuff's growing on them where the dead tissue is. Right now it's not that bad, but the color fade is really scaring me along with the tissue decay. To show how much color loss there is, this front plating monty used to be the same color as the encrusting monty behind it. Some of the corals seem completely unaffected by this. Surprisingly, it's the softies, the xenia, the pallies, the Gorgonia is an asopti, but it's completely unaffected by this. These are corals that I thought would really want the nutrition, and they're not affected by this, which kind of surprised me. And when I test my nitrates, they're zero. They always show zero, but when I have algae growing in my tank, I know that I've got some nutrients in there. Well, since I've done this, the amount of algae growing in the sump has collapsed. So I'm pretty confident that that's my issue. But stonies bounce back pretty quickly and are pretty resilient. It's my euphilia garden that's scaring me the most. That gold torch you see is pulled in and it's actually receding. That's a very expensive coral and I really love that thing. I hope it comes back. My whole euphilia garden's really suffering. At first I thought it was water flow, but I fixed the pump since then and the garden has not gotten any better. So I really think it's related to the nutrient issue. To remedy the problem, I've been feeding my tank heavily, both the fish and the corals. I figure what better way to raise nitrates than to overfeed. The fish love it, and I figure if I need nutrition in my coral, why not feed it directly? I've also completely removed the bio pellet reactor from the system. My thinking is, what better way to get the nitrates back up than to remove the thing that's stripping them out? I hate making negative sounding videos, but I gotta keep it real with you guys. My tank has ups and downs just like everybody else's. Now, the good news is, this time, I think I know why it's crashing. Last time, I think I went down the wrong path. The lighting probably was a little problem, but it probably wasn't the reason my tank crashed, it turns out. This time, I think I know why it's crashing. I think I'm putting the fixes in place that it needs to happen. And I think long term, it'll be successful. Now, I need to get that bio pellet reactor back on the tank eventually. 
I think carbon dosing is going to be key for a lot of us keeping really healthy reef systems because we want nitrates low. But it turns out we don't want them completely gone. So in the future, I'm going to work on balancing low nutrient systems with bio pellets. Now, I've had good luck with them. It's whenever I add a lot that I start to have problems. So I've got a couple ideas on how I'm going to mod my bio pellet reactor to make it more effective. And I've got a lot of time to think about this. So in the comments column, let me know if you've ever overdosed your tank with bio pellets or crashed it from carbon dosing. Also, how long did it take you to recover? How did you recover? I'd love to know this stuff. But anyways, thank you for watching this episode of Mile High Reefers. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.